Um, so chat to me a little bit about the Jewish considerations of us. We obviously see lots of patients who are from uh, the Jewish religion and they have lots of questions. So what would you say as a Jewish couple who's gone through this and for a couple who's looking at all of this? So the first and foremost, a uh, Jewish couple has to go to their rabbi and uh, specifically uh, Rabbi Fox. Right. Okay, in the community, and he he's very very he's a fantastic person, very knowledgeable, and he kind of guides people through that process, and there's a team of people who work with him. Okay, so the process can't be um, almost, and uh, there has to be someone there to make sure that the process takes place properly, mm -hmm. that it's the correct eggs, mm -hmm. the correct sperm. And that's being done. So she uh, she's at the andrology lab, at the um, at the embryology she's lab. Lauren, also. Lauren, yes. So yeah. So Lauren, Lauren. So we we, we, we call her is uh, what you call a mashkicha, the mm -hmm. person who basically looks at, oversees the entire process. Mm -hmm. So um, whenever there was an IVF, she would have to be present in the in the lab, not right. at the actual. Yeah. Um, insemination, if you want to call oh, it yes. that. No, she's right. She's in the backside. Yes. Um, you don't see her. You know she's there. Yes. <clears throat> you know she's overseeing things, but she's not. You don't actually see her. Um, so every everything that happens at the let's call it the the cellular level, or uh, yes. she has to oversee, make sure that the, it's done correctly. Yeah, she um, works with uh, she works with Yes, so yeah. that's uh, the Malkaella is an organisation for Jewish couples that it's actually helps fund. that helps fund uh, a portion and in some cases uh, quite a large portion wow. of uh, procedures. Yeah, that's amazing. Procedures, yeah, fertility. So I mean, they they helped a lot uh, in the end. Thank God we could afford uh, the first the first five wow. um, barely. Yeah. But um, when it came to the to the last <laughs> two, we we got help from uh, Malkiel yeah. as well, and again, just um, wow. really caring and amazing mm -hmm. bunch of predominantly ladies, except for Rabbi Fox, yeah. who's wow. the only male. Wow. So do you think in the Jewish community it's a little more open regarding fertility? I don't issues? think it's sufficiently open. Okay. I think that's it's. I think it's I becoming actually, more open. I actually mm. think that a lot of people was. I found it quite. People are quite quiet about it mm. because you, you see so many people who have children, mm. and it is quite a yeah. small but very insular community. Mm. So you see all the prams, you see all the babies, and it becomes mm. almost embarrassing in your mind. Mm. Um, so I think that's partially what uh, why Mish didn't want to tell too many other people what we were going through but at the same time people knew but and they would ask questions but not to us because they didn't want to embarrass they didn't want to yes. cause pain or anything yes. so but yeah i think um i think it's definitely something that needs to be spoken about mm -hmm. i think people need to know from the get-go before you get married <laughs> not when you get married before yeah. you get married what is going on yes. fertility wise yes. i think i think a lot of people should well mm. not a lot of people i think i think you need to go and check mm. it's it's mm. it's like your hiv status yes. you need to check yes. because you can be helped. There are things that can be done, and there are things that can't be done. Mm -hmm. And you need to know where you stand. Um, unfortunately, I think um, some relationships are based on that. It shouldn't be, but some are. Um, and I think just for your own mental well-being, it's it's so important just to just to have that reassurance at the back of your mind that. There's always somebody that, that's there that can help you. Somebody that, you know, that there is an organization yes. that that is is there to help you. If there is a problem, if there is a need, mm -hmm. you guys are there. Um, and I think there's not enough of that. I think it's mm -hmm. it's starting, mm -hmm. starting to lift up. 
um, which is, it's amazing. 